People Station 107 Jams. The People Station 107 Jams. The big homie Eric T hanging outside the afternoon. Jump off at 107jams.com, man. And I'm in here with the man. This is uh, Mr. Southern Touch himself. Mr. The Average Guy. Mr. He is all over the globe. He's doing videos with Cupid right about now, all the way to the moon. Is my man, DT, a.k.a. Donald Thomas in the house. What's up, D? How you doing? What's going on, bro? Man, glad to have you back in the cut, man. I had to get you up in here because, of course, you know, you, you're you making a lot of stuff happen, bro. But I, I got to commend you, first of all, because you're, you're back in school. Back in school. You're man. working on some big things. What you working on? I'm working on the master's degree in business right now. Okay. A little MBA, a little something there. Trying to take over the city. You're really trying to take over the city. I see this. What? Got the major election coming up, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Be on the lookout. Check it out, bro. So I had to get you in here, man, because I know you've been doing, like, the he said, she said, uh, forums. that has been, like, taking over the city, man. First of all, I want to know what was your whole, you know, what, 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 what made you want to do that? What's your agenda for getting it done? And how's it been so far? Well, basically, I've been getting a really good response from the book. The book is doing really well. It's just another way of uh, promoting the book and getting the conversation started. Mm -hmm. Basically, we get the guys and the girls out, a panel of people have a conversation about relationships. Yeah. Gloves off, no holes barred, open, honest, and transparent. And I like the way you do it because you basically, you try to, you know, you invite everybody. You invite the, the, the single guy, the married guy, the single woman, the married, I mean, you, you pretty you much... You get the married, the single, the dating, the stalkers, everybody come out. <laughs> the stalkers? Yeah, it's really good luck. <laughs> Don't leave nobody out. Nobody's exempt. So, I mean, like, what, what's the outcome been from the people that have come for, like, the first time, you know, have they came back for a second, or what, what's, what's the vibe like? Every week we're growing bigger and bigger. Like it's really, we get emotional, we get funny, we get serious, we get heated sometimes. Yeah. It's always comical. So like it's a really good response, people are really getting into it. But for the most part, people are motivated and encouraged and empowered by it. So like as we grow every week, it's getting a little more and more deeper, more impactful. And people are actually like getting, you know, changes made in their relationships. Okay. People are benefiting from it. So it's with the purpose. It's for the good. And you got my man uh, EJ Kemper on there this week. Kemper, first time on the panel. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Really looking forward to it. That should be cool. Now, of course, it is going on. Tell them where it's going to be. At the Gathering Place, 1100 First Avenue. And that's going down tonight because tonight, uh, it's definitely going to be happening. Make sure y'all get out there and check it out. If you want more details, should they call you to, to get 337-309-4720 on Facebook.com slash Promoter DT. Now, I definitely wanted to get that out there and let everybody know about that. But one thing I want to know, man, because you know, I know you're moving. You, you're doing a lot of stuff. But I've always wanted to know, Dave. How did you guys, you know, you and Essential, how did you guys start at Southern Touch? Like, what was the whole brainchild behind getting that, that whole movement going? Surprisingly, <laughs> like, far away from my, what I currently do, we started, like, uh, me and Eric were old friends from, from childhood. We used to trade Atari tapes oh, oh no. as kids. When I, came, when I moved back to Louisiana, I was uh, basically doing screw tapes, believe it or not. Okay. And uh, Eric has, like, every CD ever owned. Like yeah. ever made by man, uh -huh. and uh, he was my music supplier, from producing screw tapes to producing rap music, okay. to producing various mm -hmm. kinds of music, to doing dances and parties and concerts, to now, even by now we're doing national tours. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's grown. I mean, you do a lot of stuff, man. You know, uh, DG has definitely been the hands behind Anthony Hamilton, uh, behind the Man's Tamala and David, uh, behind Michael Blackson comedy shows. I mean, plays you. You'd have pretty much had your hands on a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff. I've been blessed, man. I've been really blessed. God has really shown me favor, so I'm happy about that. I'm very humble by it. And if you get a chance to follow DT on Facebook, man, he always gives like a lot of words of wisdom. You're always doing things to kind of get people involved. You really get it interactive as far as your... How do you just come up with some of the things you want to talk about? Like, what, what brings along? I think along? I have too much free time. Oh, so no. I, base, I wake up in the morning, man. I just kind of take me a life. Just take me what I've been through the day before, what I'm going through, mm -hmm. what I'm facing. And just find a way to make it positive. Like, when everything happens to you in life, it's all energy. It's all you know, kinetic energy. You can make it negative or make it positive. I choose to make it positive. That's good. And we need more positivity. I actually tell people, when I accept them as friends on Facebook, I'm like, hey, on this page, I don't do negativity, I don't do drama, no, no negative, beef. No drama. We need to wake up to some positivity sometime. I'm 38 years old, man. <laughs> I stopped doing drama a long time ago. And he's a father. Yeah, single dad of three. There you go. Yeah, kind yeah. of a baby girl. She can't see that. No, nah, well, you know, she'll, she'll see No, no picture. real housewives of Lake Charles here. None of that. None of that stuff. <laughs> that stuff. So make sure y'all, like I said, check it out. But he said, she said, forum is going down again. It's happening tonight at the Gathering Place. At the Gathering Place again? at 730, 1100 First Avenue. And of course, if you don't have a copy of the book, I got my man Chili Scorsese in the building. You might want to get a copy of that flyer so they can uh, see what the book is in case they don't have a DT. Give them a, a, a brief snippet on what the book is about and uh, where they can get a copy if they don't have it. The book is called What the Average Guy is Thinking. 
It's available on Amazon, Kindle, Nook, and Now Books, or from my website, theaverageguyonline.com. Basically, it's a book about relationships from the average guy's point of view. I know you guys have been buying books from these million dollar comedians and million dollar singers and all that, but the guy you dating works at Walmart, UPS, <laughs> FedEx, the post office, the plants. So his mindset's a little different. So you want to know what the average guy, the regular, everyday, around the corner dude is thinking? Pick up the book. That's what I'm talking about. Donald Thomas, a.k.a. DT, promoter DT from Southern Touch Entertainment. And again, uh, definitely, man, making a lot of moves here in the area. I said I wanted to get him up in here. Once we started, you know, being able to do videos on the site, I said this is one guy I definitely got to get up in here. So let everybody know it. what's going on with him. But again, they can find you on Facebook, right? Facebook.com slash promoter DT. Cool. Anything else you want to let everybody know? I know you got some stuff coming up for the summer. Second book will be out at the end of the year. I uh, got a couple of summer events coming up. A gospel singing competition. Okay. For a big cash prize. And uh, another concert. Oh, really? Another concert. Uh, yeah. Just confirmed today. Uh, really? Lafayette, Lake Charles, Beaumont. Y'all be on the lookout. It's going down. And the Black Heritage Festival this year. Oh, my God. No, really? Oh, my God. Uh, man, if y'all could. Well, you can see it. But <laughs> the look on his face means it is going to be fine. I fight. can't wait to see it. Really? I can't That's wait to see That's going to be 2015? 2015. Okay. Well, cool. In March. Well, make sure you keep us up to date on what's happening. The with city that. is being taken back over. Is it really? The mayor is back. The mayor is back. The mayor is back. Wow. You heard it. DT in the building. We Southern did. Touch. We got him here, baby. This is what we do. Like I say, he said, she said, be on the lookout for that. Get the book. It is available. And keep listening up right here for more details about what he'll be doing in the city. And of course, follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I know he's. He's all over the place, man, but that's what it is, man. So, DT, appreciate you, bro. Good looking hey, out. Thank you for having me. And y'all tune in to 107. Always supporting. That's what it is, man. The People Station, 107 Jams, or 107jams.com.